סכתא ברוכס פרק ה' משנה א' דף ל' עמוד בייס אין עומדים להספלל אל מתוך כויבד ראש. To start davening שמעון עשרה you need כויבד ראש. The opposite of כלוס ראש. You have to be serious. חסידים הראשונים הישוהים שוא או אחס ומספללים. The first חסידים used to prepare an hour before davening שמעון עשרה. כדי שיכבנו ליבם לאביהם שבשמיים. So the thoughts should be directed to the ריבוינו של לוילום. אפילו המלך שואל בשלוימוי, לא ישיבנו. Even if a king, מלכי ישראל, stops you to ask for שלום in middle of שמונה עשרה, you are not allowed to answer him. ואפילו נוחוש כורוך על עקבוי, לא יפסיק. Even if a serpent is surrounding his heald, you may not stop. The Gemur in Lamed Gimel עומד א', עומר רב שישס, לא ישונו אלו נוחוש. The Mishnah that says you're not supposed to stop in the middle of Shemone Ezra is only by a nochosh. How about an akrov, scorpion, poisek? It's supposed to stop. The Gemara asks the Kasha. The Gemara in Yevomus, Tonu Rabbonon, nofal legov arayois, if he fell on a lion's den, ain meidim olof. It's not necessarily true that he is dead. So his wife is still an ashes ish. And she's not allowed to get married. How about Chafuro Meleo Nechoshim Ve'akravim? If the hall is full of Nechoshim and scorpions, Me'idin Olof, they can say for sure that he is dead. Rabbi Yehuda ben Meseiro says, you have to be Choshish, maybe. He knows how to control snakes and scorpions. But the Tanikama holds, Agav Itzitzo Maskilei. Since he steps on the Nechoshim and the Akravim, it angers them and they kill him. Masha Enkin by lions, the place is very wide and not every lion is hungry. But you see from here that Nechoshim and Akravim are deadly. So why does Rab Sheishes make an Afkimina between a Nechosh and an Akrav? A Nechosh will kill only when he's agitated and an Akrav is always deadly. The Rambam in the Pirush HaMishnayis says that not all serpents and the Choshim are mamis. Al Piroif, they will not attack. And the Bartenura also brings down. That's why if you see a Nochosh, you don't have to be scared that the Nochosh is going to attack you. But this is difficult to understand because there is a klal. By Dine Nefoshos, we do not follow the Roif. Ein Hoilchim Achar Rabim Bedine Nefoshos. For example, in Yom Kippur, two doctors say, that this choile has to be mechalel yom kippur. A hundred doctors disagree and they say he does not have to be mechalel yom kippur. He does not have to eat. And even if the choile himself says that he feels he does not have to eat, he is given to eat. She'ein choilchin besofik nefoshois achar roiv deus. Shulchon Oroch so when you have a nochosh and you are besofik, if that nochosh is a deadly one, how can you say that roiv nechoshim don't kill, so stay quiet and don't run away because you're davening shmon esre? This is a shale from pikuach nefesh. And by pikuach nefesh, you would not follow roiv. There are two answers to this question. The first shita is that a nochosh that kills a person is found very, very seldom. And even Rabbi Meir in the Gemot, that says you I have to be choishesh for a miyuto you have to be careful even for something which is only seldom but Rab Meir's moide by miyuto the miyuto something which is extremely seldom that you don't have to be choishesh and that is the case of anochosh anochosh never wants to use its poison its venom it will only attack when it has no other choice. It will only attack if it's angered. That's why the Rabban Paskins, that Al Piroiv Anochosh is not Mamis, so you could daven Shmon Esre with no problem. The second answer is that by davening, if you daven with Kabono, this Nochosh is not going to hurt a person, especially when most Nechoshim are not dangerous. How about Akravim, scorpions? In the Mishnah, we find the Loho about Nechoshim. In the Braise, Rav Sheishes, he mentioned that there's a difference between a nochosh and an akrov. A nochosh will not attack, but an akrov will attack. In Shulchan Oroch, Simen Kuvdalet Siv Gimel makes a difference. Nochosh koruch ala keivoy lo yafsik. If a snake 
is surrounding your heel, you still continue to have an Ishmanesri. Aval Akrov Poisek, if an Akrov, if a scorpion is next to your foot, you stop and run because it's Muet Yoiser Lehazik. And if you see that the Nohosh is in cars and is attacking, then for sure you have to stop and run. Why is it that the Rambam in the Pirush Mishnayas says very simple, an Akrov you have to stop and an Nochosh you don't have to stop davening Shmonesri. But in the Rambam, in the Yad HaChazoko, he makes a difference. If in that area are found Nechoshim that kill and Akrovim that bite, you have to move away. But if the Nechoshim and the Akrovim in that place do not bite, you continue davening Shmonesri. Over here the Rambam says clearly in the Mishnayas that a Nochosh is not dangerous and an Akrov is dangerous. In the Yotah Hazoko the Rambam says depends, depends what type of place. In a place which is dangerous, you stop. In the place that they are not dangerous, no difference between a Nochosh or an Akrov. You are not allowed to stop Shemona Esre. Why there is a difference in language in the Rambam? One answer is... Al Piroif Anochosh is not Mazik, and the Akrov is Mazik. But there are places that Al Piroif they are not Mazikim. So the Rambam says Aklal. If you happen to know the Teva of the Akrov and the Nochosh that they are not Mazikim, you don't have to stop Shmonesre and you may continue davening, especially when you davening with Kavono. Is walking away without talking considered a half sec in the middle of Shemone Esre? Nafkimina would be by a Nochosh, or let's say a child is making noise in Bes Medrish in the middle of Shemone Esre. Can you walk over to the child and stop him to cry or take him out from the Bes Medrish? So there's a machloikes between Talmide Rabbeinu Yoyna and the Rivosh. The Talmide Rabbeinu Yoyna Pasken that Halicho is not considered a half sec. So if you can move away and by that the Nochosh will fall off your foot, you can do so. It's not a problem. The Rivosh in Hilchus Yom Kippur says that a Baltfila, which is Avni Shemone Esre, Chazor Esashatz, and he's falling Koirim, Nefilas Apaim, in the middle of Shemone Esre, we do in Yom Kippur, he is not allowed to move his feet. That is a Hefsek. So we have a Machloikes between Talmide Rabbeinu Yoino, that says a Halicho, walking, is not considered a Hefsek. You're allowed to walk in the middle of Shemone Esre for a Tzoyrech. And the Rivosh, who holds that there is a problem of walking, even the Baltfilo on Yom Kippur is not allowed to walk in the middle of Shemone Esre, to be able to make nefila sapayim in Simen Kuf Dalet Sif Gimel by the Hilchos Shmon Esre Pasken Deramo that you are allowed to walk so that the nochosh should fall down im yochol leilach lemokom acher kedei sheyipol anochosh meraglo you allowed to do that and that's the psak from Talmud Rabbeinu Yoyna in Simen Tuv Resh Chov Aleph in Sif Dalet bemusov oimer shliach tibur seder hu avoido hago v'noi hagin lipol al penehem kishe oimrim vehakoyhanim behoom begam בעולנו לשבח. אבל שליח ציבור אוסור לעקוויר ממקוימו בשעס התפילו כדי להיפול על פונוף. He's not allowed to move away. ויש למחויז ביד הוא אויסן כן. You have to be מויכה for those בעלי תפילו that move their feet in מיתן שמונה to fall down. And the Taz asks a clearly stero between the two פסוקים from the Ramo. In סימן קד the Ramo פסקנס that Halicho is not a hefzik, like Tamidei Rabbeinu Yoino. And over here in Simen Tuv Reshchov Aleph, Paskins, like the Rivosh, that Halicho is a hefzik and you have to be moiche. We have a steer between the Psokim from the Ramo, like the Taz asks. And the Taz says the Minik is not like the Ramo, and the Mishibir brings down from the Prima Godim, that the Minik today is to put a stender, so you don't have to move from your place. The Shliach Tzibur can just move away the stender. To answer this steer, we have to mehalch. The Mogen Avrom's Mehalach and the Gros Mehalach. The Mogen Avrom says that it's not a stereo. Le Katchilo, there is an Iser to move. And that's the Aloch on Shmon Esre and Yom Kippur. But the Evet, if a Nochosh is Koirech ala Kevo, that's in Simen Kuv Dalet, you are allowed to move. And the Chavaz Yoir is Masbir, that if a Nochosh is around your foot, you can be Mechaben your Tvilo. That's called Bidi Evet. That's when the Ramo says that Aloch is like Talmide Rabbeinu Yoyna. And could be that even the Rivosh Paskins like that. If you 
cannot have kavona well having a nochosh around your foot you are allowed to move and that is the mehalach from the mogen abrohom the grow holds not like that the grow holds that loy derivosh alicho is a hefsik and azoi is the psak from the shulchan oruch and even the tzorech kavona is a hefsik and the talmid that have been yoyna that paskin that you're allowed to move that is shitas hamatirin and that's the psak from the ramo but the ramo is more ideal katchila you shouldn't put yourself in such a matzav that you're going to move in Shmon Esri and Yom Kippur but you should put a shtender or don't make a kricho so the choyer will be an afkimina la locho if a child is making noise according to the Mogen Avrom you're allowed to stop in the middle of Shmon Esri and take him out and according to the Gro you're not supposed to the Mishnah Bureau says like at chilo shu mit machmir lak de Gro and with the Abed you could be so emech on the Mogen Avrom but that's for sure that you should not bring to the Beis Medrish children that are going to make noise because you're putting yourself in the matzav that you have to be mafzik in the middle of Shmon Esri are scorpions deadly? Yes. 25 of the 1500 species known of scorpions are deadly. One of the dangerous ones is the death stalker found in North and Southwest Africa. In the United States, we have 80 species of scorpions, but only one, the Arizona bark scorpion, is considered lethal. Some of these species are also found in California deserts and in Utah. But today we have medicines, and for the past 40 years, there has not been an incident.